and, and a lot of these uh, novel drugs are in clinical trials right now. Uh, who should consider a clinical trial and why is it um, something that patients might want to talk to their doctors about? Yeah, I, I really think that anybody who, patients with mantle cell lymphoma or other, any other disease that are, um, that will require treatment um, should really think about entering into a clinical trial and talk to their doctor about it. You know, there's this perception that, car, that, that clinical trials are really only for patients for whom other things aren't working anymore. And I, I, you know, I don't think that's true at all. I mean, some of, our, some, of the, some of our therapies are available through clinical trials in the frontline setting. Um, and sometimes that's where the most major impact is of a new therapy is, is in the frontline setting rather than relapse or factor or multiple patients has had multiple prior therapies. So we really need to get away, hopefully, from this notion that it's only for people for whom other therapies aren't working. And I would encourage our patients and the family members to talk about uh, clinical trials with their physicians, with their doctors, at the beginning of, of, of any therapy, line of therapy. OK, that's great. And is there anything that I didn't ask that we should have talked about regarding just the general treatment landscape, what's coming uh, in, along in the pipeline? for this disease? Well, I think there are a lot, number of different um, therapies that are coming along for patients with a variety of lymphomas, including mantle cell lymphoma. We talked a little bit about CAR T cells. We talked about Putin's tyrosine kinase inhibitors. But there's other ways of harnessing the immune system, and there's other ways of using targeted uh, chemotherapy. So one um, exciting advancement is the development of bispecific antibodies. You know, an antibody is a targeted therapy. Um, I explain it to most of my patients by saying, you know, if I gave you a flu shot, you would develop an antibody that um, prevents you from getting the flu. In the laboratory, we can make antibodies that target anything we want. Rituximab is an antibody that targets um, uh, a, an antigen on the surface of lymphoma cells called CD20. It's been a, it was the first antibody approved for uh, cancer therapy. There are now many, many different antibodies that have been approved, but that's what's called a naked antibody, meaning it's just using the direct binding and, and its interaction with the immune system to kill cancer cells. Well, now what's being developed are a couple other um, approaches. One is a bispecific antibody. A bispecific antibody does two things. It attaches to the lymphoma and, um, and another arm of the antibody um, engages um, uh, our, our immune system, our white blood cells, and it brings these um, white blood cells, these lymphocytes, into close contact with the lymphoma to allow this, what's called an immunological synapse to occur. Basically, that close um, connection um, allows the, the white blood cell to kill the, the, uh, the malignant cell. And so that's a very exciting um, therapy. We're hoping that this sort of an off-the-shelf, easy therapy to, to give for patients compared to some of the, um, the, the the difficulties in developing CAR T cells and these individualized um, treatment options. Another approach is through antibody drug conjugates. There are antibody drug conjugates that are being um, developed. One's already approved for other forms of lymphoma. Um, um, it's called um, polituzumab, but there are other uh, antibody drug conjugates that are in the pipeline. An antibody drug conjugate is basically an antibody that targets the lymphoma, but at the end of the lymphoma, I mean, excuse me, at the end of the of the uh, antibody is a piece of chemotherapy that's been attached to it. And so by doing this, we're, we're targeting, targeting the chemotherapy directly to the, uh, to the malignant cell, to the, to the lymphoma. And the and notion is that we can, in, can get a very targeted chemotherapy with higher doses to the lymphoma and spare the rest of the body um, some of the, um, the, the, the side effects that you normally associate with chemotherapy. So that's another exciting approach that, that's being, um, being developed as well.